all right what's up so hopefully you can hear me well um today's video is going to be on hacking html5 games through your android device um pretty much how this method works is we're going to be um We'll be modifying a local version of a game script. So you find the game you want, and from there, let's see, you're gonna go to the beginning of the URL. You're gonna put view dash source and the colon. Let's go. This is where you're going to find your JavaScript file for the game, which, as you can see, is up here. Right there, so you just press on that. Here's the game's code. Everything that makes it run. From there, you're going to want to save the page. I mean, you might want to do this on Chrome, I don't know why it says save as PDF, but um, you're going to want to save this file as a JavaScript file. Once that's done, you go back to your game. Or actually, what's next is we're going to go to our droid edit. The files should be open. You need these two files, init.js which this one is just adding an event listener um, and it's gonna once it sees this link on the bottom um, it's going to um, it's gonna replace this game.js with ours that's up there the manifest is just all the information about your um, your plugin or add-on, whatever you want to call it. It's the name, the version, the description, the permissions it needs, which is web, rec web request, web request blocking. And uh, honestly, I don't know a lot about this, um, but the link's right there that it's going to match with. And... Um, background which background is scripts that will run in the background which you can see down here in the bottom it's calling our init.js script in the background as soon as you enable this plugin um, the web accessible resources which is I from what I believe is giving our um, local file access to the to the website pretty much after all that is done um, let me turn off my syntax so it doesn't freeze. You're going to want to open local. You're going to want to open up your game file. And this is the, the whole game's code again. I already had it downloaded. And mind you, you're going to want all three of these files in the same folder. Um... I mean, pretty much just change whatever you want. I was already looking into it. I didn't really find anything I I liked other than trying to uh, make an infinite shield hack. But just to show you that you can modify things, I'll just change something simple. <clears throat> so, let's see. Tap to fly. Let's see if we can change that. Um, let's put a tap to win or something. Save it. Let's just see if it worked. Play.
See, it says tap to win. So I changed it using a, lo a local um, file. Um, but pretty much to show you what you need to do for it to do this, I've already showed you the, the coding part. Um, I try to break it down, although I don't know too much about it. I just know I have the code for it. Um, but I am starting to study a little more so I can break things down in a later video. But pretty much what you're going to do is on the, the Yandex browser, you're going to... You're going to have to go offline, you're going to have to disconnect from Wi-Fi and data. And you're going to go to your search bar and you're going to put um, Chrome, or actually you're going to put Browser. Um, it's Browser Extensions, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be this one. I kept doing it without the S. But you're going to want to do that. It'll take you here. You're going to turn on developer mode and you're going to press load unpacked and from there it's going to tell you that it wants you to load the directory that all the files are in but the android most likely won't let you do that so what you're going to do is you're just going to pick your manifest file the json file that we had right here you're going to pick that one once it gets to the file explorer and what it's going to do is it's going to put something like this here, which is your um, your developer mode subject, whatever. Um, after all that's done, you just go to the website that the game is on, and uh, whenever you want to try something new, just go back to your code editor, change whatever you want on here. Um, save it and then go back to the website and refresh and it should be loading your file still. So you can do this with most games um, very easily. If I would have found an actual hack for this game, um, I could have showed you something a little better. But anyways, I think that's about it on this video until I can uh, find a way to explain it a little more.